your viewers must have heard of Sun Tzu's war strategy. This classic war strategy from China is in the Art of War book or The Art of a War. This strategy has not only proven to be effective for military strategy, but also can be applied in politics, business and sports. It is called the Sun Tzu War Strategy, because it is believed that this strategy originated with General Sun Tzu. Though many suspect that the book, The Art of War, was written later. Oh yeah, somehow correctly name, this character. Some people call this character Sun Tzu, some call it Sun Shin, but some call it Sun Se. Henceforth, the admin will follow the one commonly used namely Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu was a Chinese military commander-in-chief who lived from 544 to 496 BC or century 5th BC. Sun Tzu was a general who served in the reign of Emperor Wu of the Kingdom of Qi. Sun Tzu was involved in the Seven Nation War over the natural resource rich areas of China East. In that war, Sun Tzu took unconventional steps. That's why he won many battles, because the moves were unpredictable. This shows Sun Tzu's genius. Apart from being recognized as a strategist, Sun Tzu is also known as a philosopher which laid the foundations of classical Eastern military philosophy. Sun Tzu's Art of War book contains philosophies and war strategies that are not only used and recognized in the world, Eastern world, but also recognized and used in the Western world. Even though it's called a war strategy, but actually the most appropriate strategy is to win, because according to Sun Tzu, fighting in a hundred battles and winning 100 victories is not a reflection of good strategy, the best. The greatest strategy is if you are able to defeat the enemy without fighting at all. Sun Tzu's Art of War book lists 36 war strategies that can be used in all situations. 36 the strategies can be combined flexibly according to the situation and conditions at hand. You can apply it to any field that involves you in a competitive situation. Maybe you will shake your head a little when you find out that the intended strategies are full of intrigue and impress cunning you probably won't go down that road but that doesn't mean you don't need to know because by knowing the 36 strategies you can read what the possibilities are what your competitors or opponents will do that way you can anticipate what did Sun Tzu's 36 famous war strategies look like. Watch this video to the end. Trick the heavens to pass the ocean. To know the weakness of the enemy you have to see and be seen by them. Moving in the dark or hiding behind a screen will only cast faint shadows that provoke suspicion. So, stay visible to the enemy by doing your usual activities while still hiding your secret intentions. Siege of Wei to save Zhao The enemy must not always be strong in all respects. No matter where it is, there must be a weakness in it, and that weakness can definitely be attacked. But, when the enemy is too strong to attack, attack something of value. 
it can weaken their mentality. Killing with a bar of knives. If your strength is minimal, or you don't want to use your own strength to attack the enemy, attack using the other party's strength. You can use your allies to attack the enemy. You can also bribe enemy officers to become traitors or inciting enemy forces to revolt from within. Make the enemy a fatigue. It is an advantage in itself if you can plan when and where the battle will take place. In this way, the enemy can only follow your plan but cannot determine when and where the battle will take place. The enemy is in your game. You can provoke enemies to do things that make them tired and frustrated because you played. Once the enemy is tired and confused, you can attack him at full power. Take the opportunity to rob a burning house. When the enemy experiences internal conflict, he will not be able to face external threats. This kind of situation is a good opportunity to attack. Pretend to attack from the east, but attack from the west. In every battle, an unexpected surprise that you can do will give you a multiplier advantage, namely, the enemy's unpreparedness. Ignore their strategy and weaken his morale. Even when dealing directly with the enemy, surprises like that can still be used. In order to do this, you must know the enemy's way of thinking, that is, by crafting tricks. Once the enemy follows your ruse, you'll find out his way of thinking, then attack in a way they don't expect. Make something for empty things. Use the same trick twice. Enemies will react to your first trick. Make a trick the second time. Maybe the enemy is still reacting. The enemy will ignore your trick the third time. At that time, you can do the real attack. Because the enemy will not expect it. Because they thought it was just a trick. Fix main road to take another road. Attack the enemy with two converging powers. The first is a direct attack, something that is very obvious and makes the enemy prepare his defenses. The second is an indirect attack, which is a surprise attack that cannot be predicted by the enemy. So the enemy is confused and forced. They share their power. At that time, the enemy becomes weak, then will experience misfortune. Watch the fire burning along the river. If there are several parties involved in the battle, delay entering the battle area until all the warring parties exhausted from the battle that took place between them. After all, experiencing exhaustion, attack them with full strength. Then you will be the only winner. Knife sheathed in a smile. Test and lick your enemies to gain their sympathy and trust. When you gain his trust, start moving against him in secret. Sacrificing silver to defend gold. In a situation where you have to sacrifice short-term goals to get long-term goals, this is a scapegoat strategy, in which you have to sacrifice, one person to save another. Stealing goats, along the way. While sticking, to the master plan, you have to be flexible enough, to take advantage of every opportunity, that comes up, no matter how small it is. Surprise the snake by hitting the grass around it. When you don't know your opponent's plan clearly, 
attack and study his reaction. His reaction will reveal his plans. Bringing back the dead. Relive something from the past by giving it a new purpose or new interpretation. Relive people's memories of ideologies, customs, mottos, traditions, or events that have long occurred, bring it back to everyday life for you to benefit from it. Lead the tiger to leave the nest. Never directly attack an enemy who has an advantage due to his good position. Lead them to leave their nests so that they will be farthest from the source of their power. Release to catch 1000. Cornered enemies will usually attack blindly. To prevent that, let the enemy be confident that still there will be a chance to be able to escape. Their desire to attack will be stifled by the desire to escape. When in the end, the freedom they want is not proven, then the morale of the enemy will fall and they will surrender without a fight. Throwing bricks to get jade. Prepare a trap, which is to trick the enemy with bait. In war, what is meant by bait are things which can create the illusion of an opportunity to win. In every day, life the bait is the illusion of wealth, power, and sex. In this case, you have to sacrifice something to create hope and false joy for your enemy. That situation will open the way for you to get many fold profits afterwards. Defeat the enemy by catching the leader. If the enemy army is strong, but is led by a commander who relies on money or intimidation, then take care of the commander. If their commander dies or is captured, then the rest of the army will split apart or even turn to your side. But if the troops are bound by loyalty to their leader then be careful. The troops will be able to continue the fight with the motivation of revenge. Remove the wooden handle from the axe. When the enemy is too strong to deal directly with, you must weaken it by tearing down its foundations and destroying its resources. Keep the ladder when the enemy has reached the top. With bait and guile, lead your enemies into dangerous territory then cut off communication lines and escape routes. By realizing that they have fallen into a trap, the enemy will panic to save himself. He must fight with your strength, with the elements of nature, as well as with their own panic. Decorate trees with fake flowers. Sticking silk flowers on a tree gives the illusion that the tree is healthy. Using deception and disguise will make something meaningless appear valuable. What is not threatening looks dangerous. What is nothing looks very dangerous. Useful that way the enemy will run out of resources to get something real worthless. Make hosts and guests swap places. Defeat enemies from within by infiltrating the fort opponents under the guise of cooperation and disguise or peace treaties. This way you will find weaknesses and then when the enemy troops are resting, attack directly at the heart of his defense. Beautiful trap. Send your enemies beautiful women who will cause discord in their defense base. This strategy can work on three levels. First, the ruler will be mesmerized by her beauty, so that will neglect his duties, and his level of alertness will decrease. 
Second, the boys will show an aggressive attitude that will spark small disputes between them and that will lead to weak cooperation and low morale. Third, women will be motivated by jealousy and envy so that it will create deep intrigue. In turn will make the situation worse. Empty forts. Empty forts will make the enemy think that the fort is full of traps. Actually, this is just a psychological trap. If the enemy is too strong, in terms of numbers, and the situation is not in your favor, then forget about trying to do any trick and act, as usual to keep yourself safe. Enemies, who don't know exactly what your situation is will think that you must have planned traps and tricks so that the enemy increases his vigilance. Use spy to spread false information. Spread false information among enemies that may conflict with one another. The enemy with his allies, the commander with his soldiers, fellow soldiers, fellow commanders, also soldiers with the people. While they are busy to finish internal conflict, the enemy's combat and defense capabilities will be weak that's when you can attack. Fishing in murky waters. Before facing the enemy troops, make a mess to make things worse so the enemy becomes unfocused. Make something unusual, strange, and unthinkable so as to cause confusion for the enemy and confuse their minds. Enemies who are confused will be easier to attack. Removing insects from their skin. When you're in a corner and you only have a chance to escape, make it a trick. While the enemy's attention is focused on your ruse, move the troops, you in secret. Close the door to catch the thief. If you have a chance to catch all the enemy, then do it. Thus, the battle will end soon. Allowing the enemy to escape will plant the seeds of new conflict. However, if they manage to escape, self be careful in pursuing. Make friends with faraway countries and attack neighbors. When you are the strongest in a region, then your biggest threat is the second strongest after you, not from the strongest in other territories. Find a safe path to colonize the Gu Kingdom. Borrow allied resources to attack common enemy. After the enemy is defeated, use these resources to put your allies in the first position to attack. Replace blocks with ugly wood. Disrupt the enemy's formation, interfere with his method of operation, change the rules he uses. Make it a thing that goes against the standard practice. In this way you have undermined pillars needed by the enemy in building an effective army. Look at the mulberry tree and disturb it. Caterpillars to discipline, control, and Remind one party, whose status and position, is beyond direct confrontation. Then use an analogy, or satire, without directly mentioning his name. The accused party, will not be able to hit back, without a clear alignment. If he hits back you, it means, he is on the other side. Pretending to be a pig, to eat a tiger. Hiding behind a mask of stupidity, as if naive, stupid, and weak to disguise his goals and your motivation. Lead your opponent into an attitude of underestimating your abilities until the end. Your enemies are too sure of themselves to lower their defense level. In situations like that, you can attack it. Be bait. 
injure yourself to gain the enemy's trust, pretending to be hurt and letting yourself go. You get arrested, will give you two odds that are favorable odds. First, the enemy will relax for a moment because they don't see you as a serious threat. The second is a way to get into the core of the enemy's defense. Meet the leader and stratagem by licking to gain trust. Enemies who see you helpless will give you confidence to continue to exist within their core circle of defense and you can find out their weaknesses. Never rely on one strategy. In important matters, one must use several strategies, which are executed simultaneously. Set some workable plans, in various situations, in a grand scheme of things. If plan A fails, immediately switch to plan B, and so on. This way if one strategy fails, you still have several other strategies, to keep going. Run to fight, another time. If the circumstances are clear, when you consider from various things, that you can't win, step back and consolidate your strength, for another battle. Because, if you, force yourself to fight, you will experience defeat. Viewers, like this 36 war strategies, a la Sun Tzu, sorry if there are any shortcomings, or mistakes. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully, it will be useful for you. God bless you.